welcome back to some more Shadow of the Colossus, where last time, we took down Argus for the, well, second to last time entirely, which was very scuffed, considering I forgot how to fight him. Yeah, I, I don't know why I completely forgot the puzzle, but you know what? We survived. Somehow we didn't die to him. And uh, we're now going to our final Colossus of the Hard Mode journey, at least for the main journey. Malice, once and for all, once again. And, uh, it feels very surreal, uh, surreal, what? I, what is it with me and trying to combine words together? <laughs> Sorry. It, it feels very surreal that we're at the end once again. We basically did the LP twice. And we're still not done. There's still the hard mode time trials and then the bonus stuff, which that's going to be interesting because uh, one of the things that I want to show is requires full stamina. And that's going to be interesting, but that's a future me problem, so you guys don't need to worry about that. Uh, and I guess keeping with the trend that I keep calling a trend at that point, that's a trend in and of itself. To talk about random bullcrap. <laughs> and uh, I guess one of the things I should say is that uh, if the next few recordings of this, at least the next three, are with me having a deeper voice, it is because I uh, kind of pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> Which, I had to get some stuff done, so, for those who are in college, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, it is what it is. I'm fine. I know I'll be wiped after this recording session, but, you know what? This is fine. There is a shrine over here, right? Yeah. But just a heads up for that. Along with that, there's another heads up of, like I did with the original playthrough, the normal playthrough of this, I'm going to be uh, making the... Malice fight its own episode, and then the finale stuff for the journey its own episode. Are you on my right, or is that aggro? I think that is just aggro. That is just aggro. Great. Alright, where are you, Mr. Lizard? I think I... Did I see you? No. Oh, God, you're gonna be... Oh, there you are. Die! <laughs> oh, God. How did aggro get knocked up into that? Uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, fix your, just fix your leg, please. So yeah, this episode is just dedicated to Malice, and then, well, the next episode will be the all the finale stuff and credits and all that. But then the episode after that will be taking on the challenge trial modes for hard mode, or the time trials, I should say, which is always very nice. I just want to make sure we are going the right way, yes. Because this place is very open for some reason. Very cool to explore around in, seriously. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go crazy with all the shrines, I don't need them per se. Considering it takes like eight colossi to equate, or er, eight lizards to equate to a colossus, I'm good without them, <laughs> needless to say. But anyways, I guess another thing to randomly talk about is comments. And th man, that sounds like something bad that happened in the comments and that is not the case whatsoever. A lot of the guys, uh, or a lot of you guys in the comments have been, uh, well, leaving very good information that I, for some reason, just either didn't know about or forgot about. One of them being about Kuramori, and I thank you to the person in the comments section below, and I think it was in the Kuramori hard mode video, but I didn't know this about Kuramori. The way you're supposed to get that achievement of getting the kill in one phase, the way Kuramori works is he stays on the ground longer, depending on how uh, high he falls from. So, if you got him all the way to the top of the Coliseum, he's gonna be on the ground for a while, compared to if he's just right beside the ground. So, I didn't know that, and I wanted to make sure that I covered that, and hopefully I can show that off whenever we go and take down Kuramori for the final time. So, I do thank you for that person, or to that person in the comments. I am butchering my words, but you know what? This is fine. <laughs> Been doing this for too long, I swear. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I guess uh, that does show that, hey, bring comments in, the, or suggest some comments and the yeah. such. And Oh, that's where one of the yeah. things are. Right, yeah. I'll, I'll talk about that Stonehenge-looking thing later, but... Yeah, leave suggestions and information, because I don't know absolutely everything in this game. I know... I actually... I mean... My knowledge has been expanded thanks to your guys' comments, but 
along with that, like, I, I had a pretty good amount of knowledge just from playing the game in the past and stuff that I've looked up, but, you know, I do thank you guys for bringing more information because it helps out the LP. Brings more information out to the LP, and, well, I like to get that information out there. So, again, I appreciate it. Man, I really did ramble all the, all the way on over to this doorway. It kind of sucks when you're just running out of things to talk about because you've been doing the LP and doing the same thing for so long, but eh, it's fine. Anyway, we have made it to the end once again, and yeah, hopefully aggro doesn't get me killed this time. Sheesh. I don't even know how that happened. The aggro just chose to get me killed that day. <laughs> And as far as I know, I don't think Malice has changed whatsoever. I mean, besides the fact that he could probably one-shot you with the laser beams now, I wouldn't be surprised. But besides that, or just doing more damage in general, I don't think he's changed at all. I don't think he has any new sigils or anything. So I guess we'll get this, uh... Man, this probably will be the final shrine we ever get in the game, huh? That's kind of sad. Very fitting for it to be the one right outside of Malice's arena, but... Still, that's kind of sad. Die, lizard. <laughs> Always with the back blast. Aw. He always makes the saddest of noises. Let's grab this. I'm curious. Okay, there are no... Oh, there is one lizard here. I guess. Interesting. Okay. I just wanted to see if, if, if there was any other lizards, but... I doubt that there's any lizards towards Gaius's... Or Gaius. Why didn't I say Gaius? Malice's arena. I guess I had Gaius on the brain. Mostly because of the short that I uh, put out. I, at this point in time, it was just recent, but for you guys, it's probably a couple weeks since then. It's the short where I got bonked in the head by Gaius and got killed instantly, which has quickly become one of my favorite shorts on the channel because it is just so dumb and very good-timed, or very well-timed. Can you please move aggro? Okay. Let's hope you don't... Oh, God. All right, here we go. Don't get me killed. Don't get me killed. All right, good. Well, you didn't get me killed this time, but, uh, well, now I'm getting you killed this time. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, it's a sad death. For, well, it wasn't really a death, but... Wander doesn't know that, and he never does get to know that. Sadness prevails. Yeah, back to the top of the tower once again. I don't know, man. I've said this before, but Malice is my favorite Colossus of this entire game, just because of how cinematic... Well, first of all, cinematic of getting just to him. I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, what the balls was that? Okay, so much for cinematic whatever. Because there's the whole dramatic bit of you losing aggro, and, you know, this is the last Colossus, so it's like, oh, God, what is going to be coming up ahead? And... Oh my god, like, this climb is just very... It's, like, calm yet eerie. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Why are you moving so slow? Just jump up there. Oh, it's probably because I need to hop to the right. Man, we have so, we have so much stamina. It is beautiful. But yeah. And plus, as you climb the tower here, the weather gets worse and worse with the rain. And the rain just looks beautiful in this game. And keep in mind, this is a PS4 game, so... One could only imagine what would happen if they enhanced the graphics for PS5. I mean, at least for PS5, it can run 60 FPS, no problem. But sometimes I wish games like this got ported officially to PS5 so that we can have both the quality and the frame rate. That was my biggest complaint with uh, God of War 2018, actually. That it never got a PS5 upgrade. And it's a game that definitely deserves it, especially since with Ragnarok, but... Then again, Red Dead Redemption 2 never got that, so... But that's Rockstar. Rockstar never usually does remakes, unless if they're uh, really crappy GTA remakes. Eh. Or remasters, or... In this, in the case of 
GTA 3 and all of them D masters. But here we are. We're at the end once again. God, you look so cool. I'm not gonna look up your skirt now. <laughs> I think we're gonna be doing that anyways. But just adding on to why this Colossus is my favorite. He is an absolute titan. <laughs> like, he is a beast. And it's just surprising that this tall and giant of a Colossus has never been seen up until this point. You can't see him anywhere else. So anyways, he's going to start blasting. Or just point at me. Uh, hopefully I can just get over to cover. Wow, you do a lot of damage. Okay. I really wanted to see how much damage you did. That is interesting. Okay. Let's just jump on over here. <sighs> Jesus. And hop down here. Wonk. <laughs> and I didn't do this song enough justice when we were first here, so... There's really nothing for me to say. I'm just going to be climbing to back to underneath his feet once again, like we did last time. So I'm going to shut up specifically for the music. Like, the music is just so good. And I really didn't do it enough justice when we first got here, so... I really wanted to make sure that I gave it an, the justice it deserves, because it is a really good track. And you only ever hear it with Gaius. There's no other place where you hear this theme. Or, why do I keep calling them Gaius? Malice. Jesus. <laughs> ah. They both end in an us sound, so I keep thinking Gaius, but no. Malice. Malice. Like, Malice. Eh, whatever. He has been constantly shooting at me, by the way, so I hope he- Oh my god, you are very angry. <laughs> Man, you are hissy. Holy crap, you're doing the double shots and everything. Alright, let's dodge on over here. Uh, you're not shooting at me right now. Dodge. Glad I did that. Dodge down here. We. Uh-oh. That was bad. <laughs> and you do a lot less damage than I thought you were going to do. I thought you were going to do, like, half my health with just one of those beams, but... Eh, I digress. We have reached the underskirt. Touch the butt. I guess the only thing that I can critique this Colossus on is specifically with hard mode. I really wish that he had, I don't think he has another sigil. We'll know that for sure in a bit, but when I was looking up information about this guy, it said nothing about a new sigil or anything. The only sigil he has is on his head, so. Now, I guess the funny thing is I could shoot him with explosive arrows, which, uh, yeah, I might as well do, because I know the comment, or, or you guys in the comments will yell at me if I don't, so. Plus, I think it's funny, too, so. Thank God this game does not have the rain mechanics like Breath of the Wild does, because that would have been a pain in the ass. Anyways, it's just, we have so much grip. We, there's, there's literally nothing we need to worry about. Just keep hopping up here. Just make sure you're not jumping off of the tower, and we should be good with that. And if it's evident enough, I explained this a little bit when we first got to Malice. He's, design-wise, he's based off the Tower of Babel, at least for what I can find on the internet about it, so... Take that as you will. There's a lot of religious themes, a lot of uh, Christian theology with this game in particular. So, let us stab his back. Chiropractic, basically on TikTok. <laughs> they rip your spine in half and call it a success. Okay, well, if he didn't back away his hand, that would have been beautiful. Okay, now I gotta do this again. Or maybe not. Yeah, there we go. Hey, buddy. 
I'm very curious to see <laughs> how ridiculous it is to try to shoot him with an explosive arrow. I mean, I just need to get up to his arm here. Oh, man, come on. Why are you turning your hand? Uh, I mean, if I just stay here long enough, he'll just flip back over. Uh, what the balls are you doing? Oh, you're trying to shake me off. That makes sense. Okay. Ah. Oh, we know. Right, we have to shoot it from here. Boop. Oh, that was a mistake. Holy crap. Okay, don't do explosive air. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, swapping off of that. <laughs> now we have to climb this whole thing again. <laughs> Granted, I kind of speed ran on over here, so... Oh, okay. Thanks, Wander. Thanks for tripping on nothing. That's another thing, too, I've noticed with Malice in particular. Even if you're just walking around on him, you just kind of trip on nothing. And I know it's probably the physics engine being weird as per usual, because this game is not perfect. This game has a very weird physics engine, and half the time it does not work properly, but I don't know. It's just very strange. Anyways, gotta pull out the sword again. Actually, I gotta climb up here. Why is he not? Pull out the There we go. Jesus, man. And I What did I fall from? Man, Malice is being awkward today, which is usually never the case. He usually never gives me problems. Okay. Climb back up here. He doesn't really know what to do about this situation. Alright. Backstab him again. Boink. And then, as soon as the hand comes, for whom the hand tolls. Pretty sure you're supposed to shoot that, right? You're not supposed to stab it. Think. Or no, you are supposed to climb it, right? I'm stupid. Okay. Oh no 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 wander. Also, you do not want to touch the rings on him. I didn't explain that, but I think that can one shot you. Oh god. And you're shaking. Just let me stab you, man. We've done this song and dance already. Okay. So it's hop oh no, wander? W wander! Oh my god, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, did I grab it? I think I did. Yay, I did grab the thing. Man, physics engine is being very awkward. All right, I need you to flip your hand on over. Ugh. I somehow can swap to my bow here. Okay. Dude. Okay, let me just climb to the top of your hand. Hey, buddy, how you, go how you doing? All right. <laughs> Get the explosive arrows out. Oh god, where are you climbing? I'm not even moving the left stick, buddy. Okay. Now I need you to flatten your hand out. Oh my god, what are you doing? Bonk. There we go. Explosive arrow. That's <laughs> so stupid. I'm glad we got to use those things <laughs> for this uh, finale of the hard mode journey. Because, man, that is hilarious. But, oh god. Okay. Again, do not touch the yellow bits. Those things hurt. We've made it to the end once again. Oh, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, buddy. Oh, God, man. You are being an asshole today. Jesus. Your AI doesn't change whatsoever between difficulties. I don't know what's that about. But it is your day to die once again. Oh, I have a plant, too. Perfect. I don't need to worry about anything besides your death. There he goes. Again, a very sad boss too, because like, you can't really do anything to you. Oh god. Ooh. I'm gonna see if I can do the same thing I did when, oh no, yeah, it's not gonna let me. Well, I am now his fur. 